During his visit to Kandy, Chinese ambassador to Sri Lanka, Chi Jing Hong, called on chief prelate of the Askiria chapter, most venerable Varakago de Srinyana Ratnathera. Later, the Chinese envoy visited the Malvatta temple and called on chief prelate of the Malvatta chapter, most venerable Tibbatuave Sri Sumangala Thera. A group of officials of the Sinopec company recently visited Sri Lanka and held discussions. They expect to establish 150 fuel stations in Sri Lanka in the near future. If the project succeeds, they also expect to build a refinery that can refine 4 metric tons of crude oil on a daily basis. The investment for the project is between 120 and 140 million US dollars. The technology used at the present oil refinery in Sri Lanka is old. This project will bring about huge changes to the country and many job opportunities will be created as a result. Following the conclusion of his discussions with the chief prelate of Malvatta chapter, the Chinese envoy addressed the media present at the premises. Now the Sri Lanka is gradually resumed almost. The urgent thing for Sri Lanka government how to attract international investors to come to Sri Lanka. So recently, the China merchant invest South Asia commercial and logistics center. That will set a strong signal to the whole world. So this is a big event. I believe this refill the station must be stay in, in Sri Lanka. But where? I don't know. I'm not very clear about that. This is just the company's activity. I don't know this. We're happy to see the companies between two countries enhance the corporations. They provide more supplies to the consumers.